You are exalted above the names. Hallelujah. There is no like you. Hello, a very good day to you. My name is Sister Temi Tayo. I'm a Christian content creator and I'm here once again to share from the Open Heavens Daily Devotional compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. And the reason I'm sharing from this particular Christian book is because the Lord instructed me to do so as I prepare to enter into the year 2020. So this is my fifth year of sharing from the devotional, and that's why we call it season five. And all those videos from 2020, they are all loaded on my YouTube channel. My handle on YouTube is Temi Agedo, which is right on the screen. I encourage you to visit my channel, not only to view those old Open Heavens videos, which are a great study guide, but most importantly, to view the open heavens for the current day and i know that will bless you exceedingly and while you're on my youtube channel very important please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and god bless you as you do now pastor adeboye led me to christ in october 1997 a few years back when i was in the university of lagos nigeria and west africa and daddy gives you a few scriptures from the bible and the memory verse and that helps to understand the body of the text praise god so today is saturday may the 4th Saturday, May the 4th, the 4th, and the title of today's daily devotional is Where is Your Vision? I, happy Saturday to you. I love Saturdays. Where is your vision? Where is your vision? Do you have a vision? Praise God. Do you have a vision? Um, and the scriptural reading is taken from two verses in, in a very uncommon book called Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter, chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. You know, when you talk about vision, as Christians, the first place your mind goes to is right vision, you know, and that's in Habakkuk. Habakkuk ch- chapter 2, verses 2 to 3. We're going to just read those two verses. I'm going to be reading from the traditional King James Version, and thus goes the reading of God's watch. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end you shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. And the Lord answered me and said, I'm reading it again, write the vision, make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readed it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Praise God. Now the truth is that even non-Christians quote this verse. I think I've seen this on a secular book, write the vision. You know, so this Habakkuk was a prophet. Uh, what we call the minor, one of the twelve minor prophets. Um, and um, in those days, used to, when I was in Bible school, they told us that you know we have five major prophets in the Bible and twelve ma- minor prophets. And at that time, Israel was divided. You know, there were ten tribes called Israel and two tribes called Judah and Benjamin, which are called Judah. Now the prophets who prophesied to the entire 12 tribes were called major prophets and those who prophesied to either the 10 tribes of israel which had its capital in samaria and or or the 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 prophets who prophesied to either the 10 tribes of israel or the two tribes of judah either or were called minor prophets but the ones who prophesied to the 12 tribes who spoke to the 12 tribes were called major because they were talking to the entirety of israel the 12 tribes now abacock was um you know, um, was a minor prophet. And he he said he was going to stand upon his watch and watch what the Lord would say to him. And the Lord said unto him, write the vision. Make it plain upon, write the vision. So the vision has to be written. That vision, that's um, what you want to do, see or have, write it. And we usually do visions at the beginning of the year or sometimes at the beginning of the month. What I want for the month of April, what do I want to accomplish in the month of April? You know, sometimes vision, you, you, you write it, write it. He says, make it plain. Don't let it be complex. Don't let it be complicated. And he says that, make it plain upon the tables that he may run that read it. In those days, they didn't have books, so they wrote on tables. But now you write it, make it plain in your notepad or in your iPad or wherever that he may run that read it. That he may run. Make it plain. Don't make it complicated. Don't make it complex. Make it simple. Write it. You have to write it. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. So there's something that you 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 have in mind that you want to accomplish in the year 2020, 2024. And um, for me, just this is just an aside. 
um you 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 have different kind of goals there are spiritual goals there are financial goals there are marital goals and different things like that but the spiritual is the most important okay you must have a spiritual goal like in the year 2024 you may decide that i want to finish the bible that's one of your that's your vision you put it down or you want to attain um a certain academic level you write it down as a vision is yet for an appointed time it says that he may run that read it so you have to visit your vision from time to time go back to your vision for 2024 he said but at the end it shall speak it will not lie though it tarry wait for it because it surely come to pass okay so write it down what do you want to accomplish what is your vision what's your what's your what is your purpose on earth what is your vision for this year 2024 what's your vision for the month of april which is coming to an end has oh for the month of may luckily today is third you know so what is your vision for today what is your plan and your goal for today you know praise god so let's go straight into the daily devotion where is your vision and the memory verse is taken from habakkuk chapter chapter 2 verse 2 it says and the lord answered me and said write the vision make it and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that read it amen so write it down in other words as you see it as you see what you have written even when you visit your vision years after you know you begin to modify it and remember that oh i wrote that that's accomplished and you take it off and those ones that are yet outstanding you carry them over the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and it will not lie do it tarry wait for it for it shall come to pass it shall surely come come it shall not tarry <laughs> daddy says light can be shining brightly outside but if your eyes have grown dim it won't matter because you'll be unable to experience this brightness Genesis 27 verse 1 says that Isaac's, Isaac waxed old and his eyes became dim and he could not see. This tells you that when a person's vision dies, it means old age has set in. Hmm. So, when, you know, the eye, eye is for vision, but then um, even though we have our physical eyes, there are also spiritual eyes. How far can you see? How far can I see? And that's why we write the vision. Okay. So that is using an example of Isaac who waxed old and he could not see he could not even tell the difference between esau and jacob because his eyes waxed dim dim you know meanwhile our father moses the bible says he was 120 his eyes were not dim and his natural force was not abated and that is my testimony in jesus name that i my eyes will not wax dim and my natural force shall not be abated as i grow older in jesus name you know but that is saying that when a person's vision dies it means old age has set in May our vision not die in Jesus' name. Sometimes things happen in life that, that makes life seem like it's not worth living. No, but God is giving us the grace to arise, shine, because our light has come and the glory of God is risen upon us. In Jesus' name, don't let your vision die. Our vision will not die in Jesus' name. It says, though it tarry, wait for it to not lie. It will surely come. That this is in Ecclesiastes 12, 1 to 3, when Solomon said, Those that looked out of the those that looked out of the windows be darkened. That was his way of saying that when your eyes can no longer see as a result of that's his that was when your eyes can no longer see as a result of old age. So one of the ways you will know that you are in your old age is when you no longer have a vision. Hmm. Joel 2 28 tells us that when you get to an age when vision becomes replaced with dreams. The right visions drive people to run, as per Habakkuk 2, verse 2, to ensure that they are fulfilled, while those who dream usually do nothing to bring their dreams to reality. So the right visions make people run. When you have a target, when you have that vision, that this is what I'm going to do, that by the year 2025, this year, I would have saved, maybe the financial vision you have, I would have bought this house, I would have attained this level i would have finished this level of my master's or my phd you have that vision you write it down phd in whatever you want it to be just write whatever you want to do do or have or become you write it down okay don't 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 let it be i have visions i've been carrying over some have cancelled that they're no longer visible this may not happen again at this i cancel it I'm moving on and daddy says as long as you if you don't have visions and you're not dreaming dreams 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 are for old people 
that never you never accomplish those dreams just keep dreaming and dreaming and dreaming but when you have a vision your dreams are things that you see in the spiritual or you know in subconscious you're just dreaming you're just daydreaming dreaming 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 but if you don't write them down they don't become visions you just dream they never fulfilled so but when you have a vision you write it down praise god and Joel was saying that when you get to an age, visions become replaced with dreams. So that is said we should never get to that stage where we just dream, 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 and wishful thinking and daydreaming. Okay, we must write visions and keep achieving them and keep following them like Moses. Even Moses was still begging the Lord that, Lord, let me enter into the promised land. You know, because he still wanted to, he had dreams, you know. That is said some years ago, I was talking to three elders who are also my special friends, and I told them that the, the that the definition of old age is dreamers. As long as you still have a vision you are pursuing, it means that you are not yet old. And this is why I sometimes joke that only those who are older than me are the elders because I'm pursuing, I'm still pursuing my vision. So I'm still young, even at 82, that this says it is pathetic to see young people who are already old because they have no vision. Yes, they talk about dreams for their future, but they are merely mere wishes because you don't see them pursuing them at all. When I see your, such young people, I often think to myself, young fellow, where is your vision? So don't just have dreams. We want to write those v- dreams down and begin to pursue them, even if they are baby steps. You know? Uh, um, oh, there's something I want. There's an adage uh, uh, that came to my mind. You know? So th- we, we, must, we must not just have dreams because time is going. Time is going, and the Bible says we must redeem the time. So that it says that even at 82, he still has visions that he's pursuing. Okay, so once you start having dreams and you have no plans of accomplishing them, that those dreams, that means you're getting old. That's a sign of old age. And that is saying to us young people, where is your vision? What is it that you are trying to, that you are going to achieve? And like I said, you break them down, these visions that you have. Write them down, make them plain upon the tablets. The Bible is telling us that he may run. So as you see it, there's a motivation. As you write, there's a motivation to pursue those dreams. Write them down. No matter how outrageous they they look, because God can do anything. Praise God. Write them down. It may look small. It may look huge today, but by tomorrow, God, God can move you along. Praise God. Amen. When a person becomes a dreamer instead of a visionary, then the fellow is old. Such a person's day which is the time he or she is to spend on earth, is almost over. The word of God says in Proverbs 29 verse 18, where there's no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. In other words, when a person's vision is gone, the fellow is on his or her way out. Okay, so when there's no vision, the people perish. You must have vision for... I heard that the the Japanese have like 100-year visions, 200-year visions, that they plan to achieve. They write them down. Just keep writing the visions. God will bring it to pass. Amen. We've seen that that God do that. With God's help, they can become realities. Just keep writing. Whatever you want to have, become, or do. We have a a vision to learn how to swim or to learn how to drive, to to buy a car by the end of the year. Sometimes the financial goal can be um, that by the end of the year, you you want to have saved a certain amount of money or an academic goal can be that before the year runs out i want to have a long-term vision is i want to be, get a phd phd in what you write it down i want to buy a house that's a great vision break it down what kind of house three bedroom house two bedroom house whatever you know write it down keep right on i want to move i want to move to this country by the year whatever just write down those visions those spiritual goals physical goals marital goals by the year um 2016 i want to have all my children complete you know and then you know you have those kind of visions you write them down and god will bring them to pass where there is no vision the people perish but he that keep it the law happy is he i believe god is talking to a specific reader of this devotional you had great visions, but now you have forgotten about them. And that is saying to us to wake up. Wake up. It doesn't matter how many they are. Just keep writing and keep updating them. Praise God. And you know, somebody said that um, eat the elephant a bite at a time. You know, so you can have long-term visions. Break them down into weekly, yearly, monthly goals. Praise God. 
So that is saying to us, you had great visions, but now you have forgotten about them. Wake up. Reflection is what is the vision you have been actively pursuing? Where am I going? You understand? What is the vision you have been actively pursuing? Write the vision. Every year you must have, at the beginning of the year, we all have visions that we want to accomplish for the year. You know? At the, if, you know, and you have to break them down into bite sizes. You eat the elephant a bite at a time. Don't just write a big vision. So what am I going to do to be able to accomplish this vision? You know, um, I want to save this amount of money by the end of the year. What am I doing this month? What am I doing next month? How, am I, how much am I saving every month to make sure that I hit that financial target? Okay. Praise God. Those are just financial goals. Just an example. Let's, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Father, Lord, we pray, Almighty God, that every dead vision, the Bible says that you are the resurrection and the life, that he that believeth in you, though he dies, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in you shall never die. Father, those visions that you have given to us, they may look impossible, but we thank you because you are the resurrection and the life. In the name of Jesus, and we command that those visions be awakened. The Bible says, Awake, O ye that sleep it, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Father, Lord, help us, Almighty God, to write those visions. The visions you have for us, the plans you have for us, the purposes you have for us, help us to write them down according to your word, that we may run as we read it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you also have visions for our life that you want us to to accomplish in our lives father lord let these visions be made known to us as you gave joseph his own vision and his own purpose father lord we pray that our own purpose will be made known unto us that we may run as we write it down in jesus name thank you heavenly father father lord help us almighty god anyone who is sleeping who is dreaming dreams who has given up on life father lord i pray that you give them a new burst of energy almighty god that their hope will arise in the name of jesus thank you holy ghost in jesus mighty name we prayed amen amen and amen thank you so much for taking time to listen to me so just go pull out your vision look through it the ones that need to be removed remove them and the ones that need to be added add them up just keep updating that that uh, spreadsheet or your notepad amen and god bless you my name again is sister temi tayo and i look forward to seeing you um tomorrow god bless you have a beautiful saturday a restful saturday god bless you have a nice day